Hotep, how's everybody doing today? Hey, this is Michael M. Hotep, founder of the African History Network, host of the African History Network show. It is Tuesday, April 10th, 2018. Yeah, I want to let you know, those in the Detroit area, I want to let you know that uh, Saturday, April 14th, 2018, I am doing uh, another lecture dealing with the film Black Panther. It's, a, it's an analysis of the film Black Panther, African culture, African history and Afrofuturism. Okay, it's taking place uh, in Oak Park, Michigan, two five nine hundred twenty five nine hundred Greenfield Road in Oak Park, Michigan. Uh, it's at the uh, Crown Point uh, building, the Crown Point building, twenty five nine hundred Greenfield Road, Oak Park, Michigan, Suite three forty, Suite three forty. It's a free event. Donations accepted. Okay, so. Uh, the film Black Panther, we know, has done about $1.3 billion uh, worldwide. Uh, it's the um, uh, highest grossing uh, Marvel movie. It's the highest grossing superhero movie. Uh, we know uh, nationwide uh, it's it's the uh, third highest grossing movie. It just eclipsed uh, Titanic. All right. And it's having an impact around the world as well. Um, in Brazil, you have a black money movement that's being started among Afro-Brazilians. Uh, we see a, a, uh, African people on the continent of Africa came out for the film as well. So some of the things I'm going to talk about uh, in the film, we'll, we'll deal with some of the history of the Black Panther character uh, introduced uh, July 1966. Uh, issue number 52 of the Fantastic Four, uh, created by uh, the character created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee uh, for Marvel Comics. Uh, we'll talk some about that. We'll talk about uh, the film. We'll talk about the role of African women in the film as well, because African women, uh, black women, African-American women uh, in the film are not damsels in distress. They're not uh, on uh, on the sidelines. They are uh, actively fighting to, uh, on, uh, beside uh, King T'Challa, the Black Panther. They're fighting to uh, uh, save Wakanda, Wakanda forever. And they are involved in the technology that is being used in the fictitious African nation of Wakanda also. Okay, So I, I did one presentation uh, Thursday, April 5th. And we have that available on DVD at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, if you want to order that DVD, if you can't make it. Um, but some of the things we deal with, uh, we talk about the role of African women in the film. Um, we talk about um, the uh, African spiritual influence as well, like we see with Bast, who is uh, Bastet, coming from ancient Kemet. Um, we talk about the uh, Dora Malaji, right? The Dora Malaji, the African female warriors that protect Wakanda. Uh, the Dora Malaji uh, is believed are uh, inspired by the African female warriors of Dahomey among the Fo people, okay? The um, uh, Ahosi or the Mino who uh, exists from the 17th century to uh, the 19th century. And they fight in the, in the Franco Dahomey Wars of 1890. And these are fierce African female warriors who were known to decapitate their opponents in battle. OK, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the African cultural influence from the uh, blankets inspired uh, from South Africa that you see uh, some of the uh, uh, men wearing uh, in the film. We'll talk about the Isi Kosa language, uh, which is the language that uh, John Kanai, who plays T'Challa, the father of T'Chaka, is speaking uh, to uh, Chadwick Boseman's character of T'Chaka. Uh, so the number of different things, then we'll, we'll relate this to history as well. So we know that um, Wakanda is a fictitious African nation. Wakanda is a real word, though. It's not a made-up word. Wakanda is in the Sioux Indian language, is in the Native uh, Native American Sioux Indian language and the Omaha Ponca language. It means possesses secret powers, okay? Um, and then so we'll talk some about that. Uh, we'll talk about um, the relationship between Wakanda and Ethiopia, because Ethiopia was never conquered. Ethiopia is the only African nation uh, that was uh, that was never conquered. All right. Uh, Liberia was not conquered, but Liberia was founded by the U.S., by the American Colonization Society in 1821. Uh, and, you know, uh, Italy in, uh, invades uh, uh, Italy attacks Ethiopia, so we'll talk some about the uh, 
Battle of uh, Attawa of 1896. And then also Italy invades again in 1935 and they occupy from 1935 to 1941. Okay, so this relates to history. Uh, vibranium, which is the uh, uh, mineral uh, that they that they use to make their technology, and it's also the hardest metal uh, on Earth in the film and in the comic book, right? Uh, Captain America's shield is made out of vibranium. Well, vibranium is similar to coltan, okay? Coltan coming from the Congo, and coltan being used in uh, as a mineral that's used in technology like cell phones. All cell phones uh, have it, uh, computers, things like this. All right, so we see relation, we see how this uh, fiction in the film, how this relates to world history, how this relates to reality. We see that T'Challa is probably the richest man in the world, okay, which, which is Mansa Musa, okay, Emperor of Mali. Mansa Musa, richest man in the world, okay, African man. So this deals with history as well. So these are some of the things we're going to talk about Saturday, April 14th, 2018, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in uh, 25900 Greenfield Road in Oak Park, Michigan, right outside of Detroit. 25900 Greenfield Road, Oak Park, Michigan. I'm uh, doing a presentation done with the film Black Panther, Black Panther Analysis, African Culture and History and Afrofuturism. Uh, it's a free event, donations accepted. Come on out, uh, visit our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com for more information. We have this presentation available uh, on DVD at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com uh, also. And uh, we have a bundle pack of my DVD lectures available at our website. Uh, you can sign up. You can register for the online courses that I teach. They're on demand. We have a six-course bundle pack right now, actually a 10-course bundle pack, and it's been discounted. That's available at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. Uh, I did an online class uh, a couple of weekends ago dealing with the film Black Panther, so that's in that bundle pack uh, as well, okay? So we'll also talk about uh, how African-American businesses have been impacted by the film Black Panther. You have some African-American businesses who are making money uh, from the film. Uh, they've seen an increase uh, in their business. Uh, and a lot of them sell African clothing, African garb. Uh, so uh, and then you have some teachers using the film Black Panther to teach African history and showing how uh, themes in the film relate to African history as well. So this is a very, very deep film on a number of different levels. And uh, we'll deal with this on um, uh, Saturday, April 14th, 2018, okay? We'll talk about why uh, you don't see African women in Wakanda wearing weaves or wearing straight hair. They all have natural hairstyles. And then also something very important is that uh, most of the women in the film are dark skin or darker skin uh, African, African American women as well. So we haven't seen this type of depiction um, of African people uh, as well, and especially African women. They're not on the, uh, they're not the damsels in distress. They are fighting. They are skilled warriors. They're kicking butt. And they actually say T'Challa. It's uh, uh, the Kia and Shuri and Ramonda, uh, played by uh, Angela Bassett, who are going to uh, save uh, T'Challa and nurse him back to health as well. So we see African women actually engaged uh, in the fighting and in saving and preserving the African nation of Wakanda. So these are just a few of the things uh, that we'll deal with Saturday, April 14th, 2018. Uh, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Crown Point Building, the Crown Point Building, 25900 Greenfield Road, Oak Park, Michigan. OK, uh, it's a free event. Donations accepted. Suite 340 is on the third floor. It's an office building. Suite 340. Visit our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com for more information, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com as well. You can bring the youth also. Uh, we have this DVD on. We have this presentation on DVD at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. I have my DVD lectures there uh, as well. Share this uh, with uh, 
uh, your, your friends and your family. And this film is having an impact on African-American children as well, because some of the presentations I've done recently, uh, going back to February, African-American History Month, uh, the children want to learn more about our history after seeing this film. Their minds are open. You know, I've talked about how uh, there were more African-Americans wearing African garb to go see the film Black Panther than were wearing African garb to go to Kwanzaa events. That's huge. I've never seen anything like this before. And April 27th, April 27th, Avengers Infinity War uh, comes out. And a lot of that film takes place in Wakanda. So a lot of the characters from the Black Panther are going to be in this film April 27th. And Avengers Infinity War has already broken the pre-ticket sales record set by the Black Panther film. So this film is going to be huge. And the Black Panther, uh, Ramonda, uh, Shuri, Nakia, they're all in this film also, Avengers Infinity War. So this is huge, okay? All right, so we'll see you all, we'll see you all there Saturday, April 14th, 2018, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Crown Point Building, 25900 Greenfield Road, Oak Park, Michigan, Suite 340 right outside of Detroit's free event, donations accepted. Hey, be sure to listen to the African History Network show, Sundays, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with your host, myself, Michael M. Hotep, on 9, 10 a.m., the Superstation out of Detroit. You can listen around the world. Go to AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. You can listen around the world. You can also listen to the audio podcast of our shows. Uh, and we broadcast on Facebook Live, so you can watch us on Facebook Live as well at The African History Network, The African History Network on Facebook. OK, and uh, click on videos. You can go back and back and watch the uh, previous broadcast and be sure to sign up for our email newsletter. Text the word Kemet, K-E-M-E-T. Text the word Kemet, K-E-M-E-T, the 22828 to sign up for our email newsletter. Um, or, or you can go to AfricanHistoryNetwork.com to sign up for our email newsletter as well. All right. And uh, you can also register for the online courses that I teach there uh, also at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. They're all on demand. And we have a bundle pack right now. It's a 10-course bundle pack uh, at a very uh, very discounted rate for a limited time only. Okay. So remember, at the African History Network, we focus on educating, empowering, and inspiring people of African descent throughout the diaspora and around the world because right now it's correct your own behavior. What you do for yourself, what you do to yourself, and what you allow other people to do to you and get away with is based upon what you think about yourself. What you think about yourself is based upon what you have been taught about yourself. What you have been taught about yourself is based upon everything you've read, heard, and seen about yourself. Okay? So, uh, and I will be doing a PowerPoint presentation. We have video clips, articles, PowerPoint, all this stuff for the presentation. All right. Remember, right now, let's correct wrong behaviors. Not over till we win. Mod Hotel, Wakanda forever. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.